kids welcome to alpha geeks let's continue with adaptation in aquatic animals aquatic animals are animals that live in water aquatic animals that live in ponds rivers lakes are known as freshwater animals aquatic animals that live in oceans or seas are known as marine animals since they spend their entire lives in water they have developed certain structural characteristics that they need to survive underwater. Let's see what they might be. What are the adaptations in aquatic animals? Fish have streamlined body, which allows them to move easily in water. Streamlined here means that the two ends of the body are pointed and the middle portion is white. This helps to reduce water resistance so that the fish can move faster in water. Fish have scales. These scales are waterproof. They prevent water from being absorbed into their bodies. It also serves as a layer of protection from attacks from predators or injuries or parasites. It also helps in locomotion and effective camouflage. Fish have fins, which are the modified limbs, which is used for locomotion. They have fins attached to their bodies and based on their position, they serve different purpose. The pectoral fin helps to balance. Dorsal fin is used for protection. Ventral and anal fin helps with steering and as well as balance and caudal fin is also known as tail fin helps in changing direction. Fish have specialized organs called gills which is used for respiration. Dolphins and whales are aquatic mammals which breathe through their lungs. They come up to the surface of the water to breathe fresh air through their blowholes present on their heads. Turtles are the aquatic reptiles. They have paddle-like limbs to move easily in water. Crab and octopus are some of the examples of invertebrates living in water. Lungfish. This can live out of water for several years. And it secretes a mucus cocoon and burrows itself under the soil. It has both lungs and gills. Some of the examples of aquatic animals include shark, whale, dolphin, jellyfish, sea anemone, lobster, stingray, sea turtle, crab, starfish. Adaptation in amphibians. Amphibians are a class of animals. The word amphibian means two lives, one in water and one on land. They live the first part of their lives in water and the later part on land. Let's see how amphibians have adapted to live both on land and in water. Amphibians breathe through their lungs when on land and through their skin while in water. The skin of the frog serves two purposes. One is respiration. The thin, moist skin allows gases to pass through, helping the frog to breathe. Second is protection. Frog changes color to help hide from predators by matching the color of their surroundings. They have a wet feet, which helps them to swim in water. Frogs have strong hind limbs for hopping and jumping when on land. They have legs to move from one place to another to find food, escape predators, find shelter and return to water to find mates and lay eggs in case of females. Some of the examples of amphibians include frog and salamander. Adaptation in arboreal animals. The term arboreal relates to trees or inhabiting trees. Arboreal animals are land animals that move, eat and sleep on trees. Monkeys, tree sloths, chameleons 
and koala bears are some of the animals that inhabit trees. Adaptation of arboreal animals include these animals have strong claws that help them to climb up and down the tree branches. They have strong legs and arms for holding and jumping branches. The tail in some of the animals like monkey and chameleon helps to grip the branch. Some of the examples of arboreal animals include squirrel, panda and orangutan. Orangutans known for their distinctive red fur are the largest arboreal mammal spending most of their time in trees. Their long powerful arms and grasping hands and feet allow them to move through the branches. Adaptations in aerial animals. Animals like birds and bats spend a lot of time flying in the air. Such animals are called aerial animals. Birds possess a number of features which help them to fly. These include Birds have a light and hollow bones which make their bodies less dense thus facilitating flight. Birds have a streamlined or a boat shaped body. This shape helps the bird to cut through the air easily. Birds have wings which are the modified front legs. With the help of strong chest muscles, birds use their wings to fly. Their bodies are covered with feathers which play an important role in keeping them warm. It also helps to camouflage. Some birds have the natural ability to blend into their surroundings. This helps them to stay hidden from predators and also to sneak up on potential prey. The feathers on the tail and wings are used to fly and are called flight feathers. Tail feathers help to change direction while flying and wing feathers helps to support the bird during flight. Bat is a mammal with the ability to fly. Its wings are not really wings but skin stretched between its toes like the cloth in an open umbrella. If you have liked this video then hit the like button and subscribe and don't miss to press the bell icon to get new notifications. Thank you.